In a small warehouse in a Gaza refugee camp, a group of young Palestinians are hard at work. From the rough and tough streets of New York in the 1970s to the rough and tough streets of the Gaza Strip, meet the boys of Camp Breakers, Gaza's very own break dancers. Drawing inspiration from dancers around the world, they hone their skills in this tiny warehouse turned studio. Funk B-Boy is the group's founder. I started to get the moves from internet and the moves uh, from TV and uh, search about the basics about that. I get the basics and I start to learn myself and teach myself that. Moves that caught the attention of friends and family, including the youngest of the group, 13-year-old Fox B-Boy. It's a sport I like very much and enjoy very much. In this conservative society, this form of dance can be seen as a negative Western influence. But the boys of Camp Breakers reject that criticism. We don't break dance in the same way the rest of the world might. We look at it as art, as a sport, as a form of exercise and fitness. Yes, it's a Western dance, but we see it as a sport and a chance for us to represent the Palestinian people. And represent the Palestinian people is what the camp breakers hope to do one day. I hope that this group will grow and put on shows around the world. I hope that we will be invited to competitions and showcase our group. While the group hopes to make it big on the world stage someday, for now they are happy performing mostly for Gaza's children. More than half of Gaza's 1.5 million people are children, many young men are unemployed, and post-traumatic stress disorder is common in a society where traveling to the outside world has become extremely difficult. So for now, the camp breakers are hoping their dancing will serve as an outlet by bringing a little of the outside world to Gaza. Ayman Mohideen Al-Jazeera, Gaza.